Psalm 97 stresses the lordship of God over creation, so much so that the hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord. The theme of avoiding idolatry is then woven in, the sin of assuming something other than God has sovereignty, and the psalm confidently asserts that confounded be all they that worship carved images. There's a hint as well that idolatry is not just about the formal worshipping of an inert statue. It's about our human priorities. The greatest act of idolatry is putting ourselves in the place of God, or as we might say, looking after number one. But this is a constant danger, and indeed is a commonplace as we look around at the world. The psalm encourages us in this way. O ye that love the Lord, see that ye hate the thing which is evil. As we overcome the idolatry of pride, so too we find our lives shaped by righteousness. The Lord is King, the earth may be glad thereof. Yea, the multitude of the isles may be glad thereof. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his seat. There shall go a fire before him and burn up his enemies on every side. His lightnings gave shine unto the world, the earth saw it and was afraid. The hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens have declared his righteousness, and all the people have seen his glory. Confounded be all they that worship carved images and that delight in vain gods. Worship him, all ye gods. Zion heard of it and rejoiced, and the daughters of Judah were glad because of thy judgments, O Lord. For thou, Lord, art higher than all that are in the earth. Thou art exalted far above all gods. O ye that love the Lord, see that ye hate the thing which is evil. The Lord preserveth the souls of his saints. He shall deliver them from the hand of the ungodly. There is sprung up a light for the righteous, and joyful gladness for such as are true-hearted. Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks for a remembrance of his holiness. 